Joining us now is Ojinika Ojiokwe in blue. <laughs> this story is trending around the world. You know who Hello, inspired Genex? me? I, uh, my Ayomi day. You inspired me. I'm like, why is that my blue outfit? Let me find it. Amazing. Thank so you. Good. good morning. You guys had an amazing OG. segment earlier today. Yes, Don't yes. tell me about this, your story OG. about this violence thing. Oji, this yes. shade you are wearing <laughs> of blue. It's just called it's, blue, blue. It's a blue, blue. Absolutely. It's a, it's a shade. You, <laughs> you are a bad, violent woman. <laughs> You are okay. a violent We'll woman. talk after the show, no problem. You are a violent person. No problem, violent. no problem. It's not good. Why did you choose to date to wear blue? Because I love it. I told you, she inspired yeah, we me. We spoke about this she yesterday. She inspired me. So I told her. You're being mischievous. So you can't buy any color but blue? <laughs> Refine. All right, let's begin what's trending. Well, good morning to you viewers. Here are some of the stories that are trending across the globe. In the United Kingdom, British Prime Minister Rishi Suna, in a fiery speech on Wednesday, boldly stated that a woman is a woman. Sunak made the remarks during his closing speech at the 2023 Conservative Party conference while defending the rights of British people not to be bullied over their gender identity. He emphasized that individuals cannot simply choose their sex. And we shouldn't get bullied into believing that people can be any sex they want to be. They can't. A man is a man and a woman is a woman. That's just common sense. In Ghana, protesters trooped out in their numbers on Wednesday in the nation's capital, Accra, to demand the removal of the central bank governor, Ernest Addison. The protesters are accusing him of economic mismanagement during the country's worst debt crisis in a decade. The governor has rejected the resignation calls, deeming the demonstrations completely unnecessary. Under sports, FIFA, in a shocking announcement on Wednesday, awarded the 2030 World Cup to Morocco, Spain and Portugal, exactly one year ahead of schedule. The unique celebration will span six countries, including Uruguay, Argentina and Paraguay to mark the tournament centenary. Morocco is set to make history as the second African nation to host the World Cup, while Spain is hosting the tournament for the first time since 1982. Ben, former president of the Spanish Football Federation, Luis Rubiales on Wednesday defended himself in court amid the Kissgate controversy that forced him to step down following his allegedly unsolicited kiss on the lips of Jenny Hermeso at the Women's World Cup. Rubiales insisted that the kiss was consensual and that he had asked Hermeso for it, which she accepted. He attributed his reaction to the euphoria of Spain's World Cup victory. Oh yeah, yeah. Finally, on her entertainment, Grammy Award winning Afrofusion star Burner Boy erected a billboard in honor of Makola market women in Ghana for their incredible dance moves to his hit song City Boys, which went viral on TikTok. The 32 year old singer expressed his heartfelt gratitude on social media as he unveiled the billboard, which showcased the women's vibrant spirit and dance talent. That video made me so happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I loved yeah, it. Lo <laughs> well, all right. Yeah, well, let's begin what's trending then. With reactions trailing the transcript of the deposition made by Carl Westberg, the witness of the Chicago State University in the case of former Vice President Atiku Abubakar's request for the release of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's school records in the yet to be certified transcript obtained by our sister publication, this day newspapers, Westberg told the court that the diploma, which is also called a certificate, that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu presented to INEC was not like the ones issued by the university in 1979, but however looked more like those produced in the 1990s. Well, in one breath, Westberg also claimed that CSU did not find any diploma issued by 1979 to Tinubu, but in another breath claimed 
that the school had in its file the diploma dated June 27, 1979, which was the copy released last year to Enaharu Eba under the order of a U.S. court. Well, let's go over some excerpts of the deposition transcript. Carl Westberg was responding to questions from Angela Liu, lawyer to Atiku Abubakar. The question from Angela goes, you have never seen a diploma that cut off the signature of Herbert Conley position like this? Answer, correct. Question, and CSU does not have a 1979 diploma that contains the font, CL signatories and warding apart from the INEC diploma? Wolfsbeck answered, correct. Question, so CSU does not know of any diploma dated 1979 like the INEC diploma that has ever been issued? Answer, correct. Question, and CSU has no record of issuing this INEC diploma to President Tinubu in 1979. Westbeck answered, correct. Another question, and CSU did not issue a diploma dated June 27, 1979 to Tinubu in 1979? Westbeck answered, correct. Well, another transcript there. Angela asks, the diploma says it was granted on June 22nd, 1979? Westbeck answered, yes. Question, and CSU did not have a board of trustees in 1979, did it? Answer, true. Another question, so let's look at the signature on the INEC diploma on the right. It looks like one of the signatories from Elnora Daniel, correct? Answer, yes. Another question, and Elnora Daniel was not the chair or president of CSU in 1979, correct? Answer, correct. Angela also asks, she was president in 1998 to 2008, correct? Well, Westbrook answer, as far as I'm aware. Well, you know this has caused a lot of reactions, uh, guys, because, you know, is, is it that the word forgery or the certification? But let me take a tweet from David Houdini, who wrote, just got a hold of the written copy of yesterday's deposition. And yeah, Chicago State is <laughs> in just as much trouble. Well, apart from confirming that the certificate submitted to INEC is a forgery, they also confirm that they have no way of knowing that Bola A. Tinubu and Bola Ahmed Tinubu are in fact the same person. Well, uh, Temitokwe Ajayi also in response, I believe he is the press secretary to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he wrote, we should be clear. In the deposition made by the Chicago State University, there was nowhere the university said the certificate presented to INEC by President Tinubu is fake. The university insisted on that oath that President Tinubu graduated with honors, and even at that, replacements for lost certificates are done by vendors, not the university. The claim that President Tinubu submitted fake certificate to INEC does not make sense. A man cannot forge the academic records he possesses. You can only forge what you don't have. All right, uh, Rufai, a lot of discrepancies here. Too in much this. discrepancies. Yeah, although I will state again, this is not a, a certified copy yeah, of yeah, the yeah. deposition, yeah. but I mean, it is all, it's transcribed as to what he was saying. That is Carl Westberg. But I want to also just talk about the fact that, you know, um, Chicago State University contacts vendors to uh, get their certificates. I did go on Chicago State University and I looked at it as well. There's also a link that you can click to obtain your diploma from the school website. And the second thing I wanted to say about concerning that as well is the fact that they did have the certificate from Enahuru Eba that he requested. Yeah. I believe that was last year. Yeah. So what happened there? I don't so, get it. So that's the conundrum. Yes. Yeah, I get uh, vendors can print certificates and yeah. all of that, you know, the American system. But the question I also want to ask is, mm. apart from printing a certificate, there should be a, a, some form of authentication. Yes, that it can so, make. So let's say you are an affiliate of Rufai Enterprises. Mm. At least there should be some form of authentication of Rufai Enterprises on what you print. Mm. That's one. Number two. Why is it that there was one they gave a Eba? Why didn't President Tinubu get that one to present? That's the question. But if uh, CSU had one for him, why did he get that one to present? Why did he present the one that the CSU did not even present at all? Going, I think a lot of people should read those raw facts of the deposition. They talked about that. That inquiry you read was, mm. I think, was the first part of the deposition. Mm. So he did not know 
The cows did not know that they were now going to bring up the Naho Reba exit. So when they brought it back to him, yeah. he was gobsmacked. It also showed the school did not even have a verification system to verify whatever the student had even presented hitherto. Because the school did not even know that Ahmed was the middle name of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. So there was no way for them to be able to know. Concerning the template that was going around that some people had gone to tell all sorts of pockies for that the school gave it to them. The school said it was just a template they had released because they got a lot of inquiries mm -hmm. and that if you, if you had even mailed the school, they would have given it to you. That's just it. So when so people... So they would have given it. So what is this vendor situation? So, and who no, is that was, issuing... No, that was the, that, that to whom it may concern. Yeah. No, I'm talking about those you get. you meant the certificates. So, so yeah. the vendor situation, and also they talked about the case of a Mr. certain Mr. Or in all of this, you know, conversation that left the school after the certification of, of, of something and all of that. And, you know, there were also other even very sad things. And you wonder, this is where an American university operates, you know. Absolutely not. And I, I let's now so. go I, back I to a particular document. Because, you see, with all of this new evidence, eh, mm. there was a deposition under oath, Kausberg made, where he said, Bola Ahmed Tinubu graduated and was awarded a degree from University of uh, June 20, uh, 1979. And uh, they said uh, that Chicago provided a diploma to him and they were valid and all of that. Now, the, that, this is suspect. In the first deposition I gave Angela Lu, the things he was already saying in this Henderson deposition was contradictory. So if I, because, Oji, oh I'm not going to work. Well, I read that thing. I read it. I took out my time to read it because we need to be able to inform the public. Absolutely. You get. So, yeah. so, and that's why all of this out there. It's in the realm, you know, people will check it up, whatever it is, they're going to make their assumptions and all of that. But for me, I'm just concerned about the facts of the matter and based, yes. on, based on the position. Hey, like you said, right, it's not certified yes. yet. Probably when they, you know, certify it and all of that. And it's a document that's out there in public. Everybody should take out time to, right. to read it too. But I, based on some of the first depositions, it was already contradicting the things Kalsberg put in here. All right. I, I get the point that Dr. Abati always makes, which is the point of discovery. Can it be admissible in court? Yeah. But I don't think that that's what Nigerians are even yes. worried about. They're worried about, they, they want to know, was that certificate actually from the yeah. Chicago State University, which we have seen in this uncertified transcript that, yeah. you know, the, the clerk there is saying, uh, we're not sure we can authenticate this actual uh, certificate. Yes. What, what's your take on okay, that? So when you hear, when you read the deposition and that statement coming from the university, the first question that came to my mind was, okay, so the certificate that was presented to INEC, where did the president obtain it from? Because it didn't come from CSU and CSU has stated this categorically. Now in terms of whether it's um, law admitted, I asked a question earlier to Mr. Hassan okay. when he sat where you were sitting about, and, and now this is based on personal morality and the fact that this is the highest seat in the office of, this is the highest office in the land. Yes. And the fact that should someone, whether the court um, sacks him or not, if we are aware that a principal officer such as that forged or didn't present a certificate from the institution where he said he graduated from, should he not honorably, even without the interventions of the court, step aside? as is done in other sane societies. Right. It's a matter of, and, and you know, Mr. Kalu was here, he cited the example of Mesoma. When ordinary young Nigerians like Mesoma for, are said to have fought a result or fought a certificate, all their benefits are withdrawn from them. It's a national disgrace. It's a national, we di they didn't need to go to court for Jam to come out and for all the sponsors to come out and take away her benefits. It's the same thing that Nigerians are clamoring for. It's beyond, and I said it before and I still maintain it, it's beyond, yes, um, law is not morality, but even if the courts cannot admit the evidence, whether it is a, they call it a wild goose chase or not, it is not just a national embarrassment if this is found, you know, in terms of the evidence before us in, um, as to CSU saying they didn't issue the certificate or the diploma, if the president is not able to share where he got that particular diploma from, right. if they are not able to balance the discrepancies on the dates, the logo, the signature, the different things that the, um, the registrar had I, I alluded to, then Nigerians deserve an answer and we deserve a credible leader who is honorable if found culpable to exit that position. All right, well said, Ayo. We'll take another story.
The minister of the federal capital territory, Abuja, Yeson Wiki, during a press conference, thanked all media houses for not reporting any negative stories about him. The minister stated that the reason why the media is no longer reporting negatively about him is because he had been patronizing the media and that those who are yet to receive his patronage, I mean, like our sister publication this day, should go into fasting and prayers. Let's take a listen. Thank the press for your reporting. I have not found any negative reporting these days. Probably, probably because uh, most of your media houses are publishing adverts. <laughs> Money and the rest of it is coming, so most of them are happy that uh, their media houses, those who have not gotten, uh, you have to go for fasting. <laughs> and uh, that, uh, that more things should come out so we can, uh, we can uh, patronize all the media houses. But frankly speaking, I want to thank you for the support you've given to this administration. Uh, Once more, thank you and God bless all of you. Governor, I still call him Governor. Minister Wike, I know that we have not gotten any ads from Governor Wike. I mean, are you talking to us, Dr. Abati? Well, I, I noticed that at that event, yes. uh, Minister Wike was showing appreciation yes. to the media mm. for their support. And then he thought he should just uh, rub it in mm. that he has been patronizing yeah. the media. Um, well, media houses depend on heavily on advert revenue. Yes, sir. And so what he's saying is that as federal minister, he's discriminating against certain media houses. Yes, well, we you can't know, see any rise. You've identified at least one. Yeah. You know, but I think as minister of the Federal Republic, yeah. you know, uh, it should be fair to all parties Absolutely. concerned. Absolutely. It should be, you know, fair-minded. Yeah. Uh, he should not use his office as a tool of discrimination mm -hmm. or sort of blackmail because there's some sort of blackmail there yes. saying that oh uh, some people have been patronized by his office and yes recently mm -hmm. you know adverts running into about 100 pages in some of uh, you know inserts running yeah. into pages upon pages in some newspapers so those newspapers made a lot of money and then he's using his office you know, to cut a deal, to blackmail, you know, that, that's not fair. Right. You know, as a federal minister, you should have an open mind. Yes. You know, and in any case, media planning is not on the basis of your personal emotions or ego. It's on the basis of, you know, where your material can receive the best attention. Uh, that should be the uh, priority, not personal things. But in any case, uh, if it says uh, people should go and fast and pray, uh, well, I don't know. What if there are people some organizations don't believe in fasting and prayers, since these media houses are not religious organizations yeah. anyway. <laughs> right. You know, well, but, right. uh, you know, uh, you should avoid that sort of black man. You should be fair to all. Absolutely. And if it, indeed he has not given this day and uh, arise news, mm -hmm. he should give us that right. Uh, uh, we have uh, money to fasting and it's, prayers. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a quid pro quo. Yes. You know, it's not Absolutely. as if you are doing these media houses yes. any favor. No. They help you to publicize Absolutely. your material Absolutely. that is important to your ministry. Absolutely. So don't use it to play games. Is it the brown paper but, uh, journalist uh, that they but, uh, always talk uh, about? Uh, Ojinika, yes. I, I think, no, we have a pastor here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll delegate you like, to start to fasting and praying. You are correct. Anybody that's not giving a, a rise TV ad yes. now, must be probably joking. As we speak today, Oji, yes. for a daily program, yes. we are hitting 10,000 views. You see? Reply YouTube, always goes 10, to the This empirical data. fact. Empirical. All right. Well, all right. Is there any other person hitting that number as we speak Reply. in this country? Allow no, me to take, allow me to take my final story now. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Fast and pray. Fast pray. Well, all right. We'll take our final story then. In the United Kingdom, where a video showing a Nigerian woman Olua Toin Bokono, lashing out at her party guests who did not buy her Ashwebi before attending her 70th birthday went viral. Well, in the video, Olua Toin called out the people who supposedly promised to buy the Ashwebi, which, which means family clothing, right, for the party, but failed to do so. To the dismay of her guests, let's take a look before we come back for a discussion. <laughs> Now. 
Ayo, Emma provoked Whoa. me. Emma, <laughs> no, I mean, this. she eventually apologized. She, so she said she's a military yeah. woman and that, you know, she didn't really that mean it. But you saw the woman trying to grab trying the mic from... Trying to from, salvage from, the I, I mean, isn't that when you get to 70, there are certain things you just cannot tolerate? They do but, say that. But if you see the invitation, she had already put there that you must not. buy, you must buy that show. Otherwise, do not, not come. come in. And that's the invitation. <laughs> okay, so I, 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 knew, I, I know that Ashrebi is taking very seriously in this part of the world. I didn't know it was taken this seriously yes. in terms of actually cursing, <laughs> placing yes. heavy curses yes. on people and saying that. In fact, in, in, if you want to be said, you, you, the food would choke. You would choke on the food. Oh, if you are here, know. and even those who I want like their would at some point <laughs> have to leave the that like yes. they can't even be in this kind of atmosphere. Yes. I just think people should not take things so seriously. Yes, obey was written on the invitation card, <laughs> but also God. No, but you cannot do that to your guests. You to celebrate. Be gracious. 70 like, years old. I like that. Which, which one is the <laughs> We learn every day that I'm about to see all you all. I'd like to thank you all for your great analysis as always on what's trending. Well, that's all I have for you on what's trending today. I'll see you all tomorrow.